I ran for 30 days straight. Let's see how I did. So one of the hardest parts about this was just sort of sticking to the schedule and doing it consistently every day. I had to run regardless of the weather, whether it was raining, sunshine, morning, night, just sticking with it was the hardest part. But because I made a commitment to the world, I had to follow through. One of the hardest things was overcoming those voices in my head, those voices that told me to stop. I was tired, sore, and it sucked. But I followed through, and the 30 days is done. And the most important thing I learned was just overcoming those voices and staying consistent. Extremely important. The time of day I ran was very inconsistent. Um, it just was all based on when I had time. Sometimes it was the morning, sometimes it was night, sometimes it was the evening. It all depended on my time. What was most difficult was the editing of the videos. So for those of you who don't know, I um, was posting a daily shorts on my run that I did the day before and it would go up in the morning. The first week was relatively easy. Um, I've been running since uh, September of last year, eight months up until a point when I started this uh, daily running challenge. So the first week was relatively easy. The second week I started to feel it. Um, my legs were sore and I think one of the things that really helped was using the cooler. Um, I have a Grizzly 400 cooler that I ice bath in every day and I'm over 60 days of doing that consistently uh, but that's, that's for another video. Um, I think it's a good addition however um, to folks who uh, you know exercise in general plus there's supposed to be so many other health benefits the biggest of which I felt is my metabolism it increased my energy level and even when I ate extra it didn't seem to add to the scale by the third week um, those voices in my head the ones that were like you know stop uh, you're tired sore you don't feel like doing this those voices were, were quiet by that time and I felt unstoppable and um, even though I still felt like soreness in my my feet ankles um, it it the voices were quiet and I was able to do it uh, consistently now something important some days I only ran one mile um, if I knew it was a day where it was a short run I pushed as hard as possible and on normal days I just ran uh, at a normal rate the big difference was week four. During week four, a buddy of mine um, who also runs uh, was doing research and he found out that we were not training correctly and we should be spending more time running and, uh, by heart rate, not just based on like, you know, just generically going out there. And so the last week was actually the easiest because I started running much slower just to remain in the zone too. Um, I think the first day or two, I think we were confused and we were running in zone three. And then once we figured it out, we started in zone two. And I think I'm gonna follow up with that in the future, you know, after doing some training on zone two running. But because I'm 260 pounds, to stay in zone two, I have to go really, like it's, it's incredibly slow, but if I try to fast walk it, I drop down into zone one. So I still have to like sort of jog and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be updating with that as well. I'm also looking forward to incorporating like hill runs as well. Um, however, the area I live in is not a lot of elevation or places to do that. But I'll figure it out and I'll get back to you guys with that. Something else that I tried during that was uh, the Nike Run Club app has these guided training sessions. Uh, the only one that I've tried so far and I've done it twice was doing these intervals 60 seconds on 60 seconds off of 60 seconds as fast as you can <sighs> well they say five or five or six out of ten i think i was close to like a seven or eight um and doing that ten times in a row 
um, in six seconds off, you continue to walk or likely jog. I walked during the six seconds off. And um, so moving forward, zone two training and also uh, doing guided training. So as of now, I'm still running. Um, it took a few days off and uh, last week I ran like three times and this week so far I've only ran once not good uh, besides today well th today would be technically two and I'm going to continue at least four days a week is the goal but if I have to only do three I'll do three um, and we also started incorporating uh, speed work uh, so like on a Sunday we'll just go to a track and like uh, do some slow runs, mix it up, um, do some sprints. So this challenge was uh, an incredible uh, journey of self-discovery, uh, seeing how uh, consistent I can stay, how consistent I can be. And um, I think the biggest thing I've, I've learned is like, if you make a commitment, just stick to it. So um, hopefully that could bleed over into other parts of my life. And yeah, peace out. Thank you.